welcome to the mother Forkin juice box. Hey y'all, welcome back. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine? People used to start their YouTube videos like that. Anyway, hi dirty forkers. Love y'all. I'm gonna show you a whole tour of my apartment because I'm moving the fork out and it's so cute and I'm so sad. You gotta do what you gotta do. This is the entrance of my apartment, which I feel like most people don't know. It's like a closet. I feel like for a girl my age, I do have a lot of clothes, but it's not outrageous compared to some people. I just lack storage. So I got creative. Actually, my good YouTuber friend Morgan Yates let me buy these from her or she gifted them to me. I think I paid a little bit, whatever. I think they're from Amazon or Target, but it's really nice because they're a clothing rack, but and they also have these little like shelves that I put these black canvas box things in. And here I have like all my board games and here I have more board games and like my hiking first things, miscellaneous shit that I needed storage for. This is like journals, workout equipment, like there's tennis balls. I got these big shelves from Ikea and I house a lot of my boots in like nice sneaker head shoes, whatever. And then I have more clothes. And then here are all my hats. And I have so many forking hats. I'm gonna do a closet clean out, so stay tuned for that. Believe it or not, more hats in here. And then down here, I have these little cubbies for more shoes. And then I have other shoes down here because I lack so much storage. I actually feel like I utilize this space pretty well. It's tight, it's close quarters, but like, you know what? It's fine, it's, what, it's just me, you know? That's living here. And here, I didn't even clean this, like I don't even care. Is my laundry, and then I also have some like lights in here, I have some stuff up there, like cleaning supplies, but um, I love it because it's kind of tucked away. So if you come this way, I have a little mirror moment, which is nice because I can take mirror pics and just like look at myself quickly before I go. And then this is the official juice box. Like this is what I'm talking about. This is like my little kitchen area. This is like where I spend most of my time. This is the living room. This is like the view of all views. I love having a corner unit because then I get the east and the west sunrise and sunset, which is amazing. And I just like love all the buildings. I love all the chaos. It's just like, I, this is my dream apartment for real. This sofa is from Cardeal. The rug is from Ruggable. My coffee table is from Cardeal. Rihanna book, Los Angeles book, Jonathan Adler, 11 something candles, TJ Maxx. I have this amazing, big daddy TV. That's really nice because I can like bring it out, swivel it, I can watch Housewives while I'm cooking, which is nice. I feel like this is not normal, but I have two mirrors that frame the TV essentially. And I don't know, I feel like I love the mirrors in here because it makes the space feel bigger because it is small in here. I don't know, it's fun to get a little like fit check. This is from Bobble Bar. Overhead lamp is from Right tech. And I love this little area over here. This little number is, I believe from Z Gallery. I got it as a hand-me-down. These are like antique little candle holders, which I love. These are from Decenio, Muhammad Ali, iconic. And then the boxing gloves. This is from Etsy, a little cherry disco ball. This my friend Christina got me. It is a like tennis book. These I've got in South Africa, which I'm obsessed with. This is from Bright, Bright Tech as well. And then I have a bunch of other things down here. I actually love the mirrored furniture here because like I said, I feel like it makes the place look bigger and like all the buildings can reflect off of it and whatnot. Up here is this cute little plant skip ball, which I think is so fun. Oh, and then this is my favorite blanket ever. Drunk Elephant gifted it to me and I think it's so cute, so fun. Obsessed with it. This is my bar cart. I have a ton of alcohol, even though I don't really drink, which is probably why I have so much alcohol because no one's drinking it. I don't even know if I'll do bar cart in my new place, but whatever. This is where I sit all the time to do work. Um, my bar stools are from CB2. They're not the most comfortable thing in the world, but they are chic and practical. And then this is my lovely kitchen. I do everything here. It's normally very messy. And I always have some sort of candle burning and I like to have fresh flowers too, but I haven't done those in a while, so. I've been using this candle and then I always keep Palo Santo out and I love to Palo Santo my place. I feel like it smells so good and it cleanses the place and I just love it. This little number is from Budweiser. They gifted it to me and I think it's so cute. Don't ask me why I have pickleballs in here for sauce. I don't know, I put random shit in there, but yeah, that's the vibe. I like to mix match my house with expensive things and luxury items, but also affordable items. And I think a way to make your house or home or apartment or wherever it is you live 
feel super homey is by having like little notes and little photos of your friends and family everywhere. So these are just like some of my favorites. This is from my best friend, Annie, my childhood friend. This is from my dad. This is from my mom and my brother. My mom wrote it. My brother didn't write that. This is a photo of me and Annie when we were little. I have not changed. I'm literally dancing, you guys. This is crazy, but I just think it's really cute. I think everyone that comes here and fills up their water gets to like get a little vulnerable piece of me and I think that's fun and makes your place really feel like home. And then of course my fridge. Ah! It looks like I'm a bachelor, like with all these beverages. A girl can only drink so many beverages. You know what I mean? And what I tell you, every time someone comes over, I'm like, please take three beverages. I'm like trying to get, I still have more beverages. Like, look at this, look at this. <laughs> there we go. What is going on? <laughs> Speaking of beverages, let's talk about my favorite. Probably the Snoop Poppy flavor. And it's a tall boy, which is sick. Oh, my guest wants a poppy? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, what do you want? Do you are want the you cherry drinking, or the orange? Tonight? Ooh, yeah, I'll try that. Do you want like some hydration, maybe some prime or, and whatnot? <laughs> You're such a good host. Oh, thank you. Hydration yeah, and I love it. Wow, well, thank you. Oh, you need sparkling water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be peeing all night long. Right here is my probably favorite piece of art that I've ever had. It is a photo that my friend Miss Haley Ringo took when we were in South Africa together, and it was the only young male lion in the entire like reserve that we were at. It's so iconic. I love his little mohawk. I still don't have a name for him. Comment down below what I should name this guy. I literally have no idea where I'm going to put this in my new place, but we're gonna style it eventually. Also right here is a fan favorite when people come over. It's just a shit ton of photos that I printed off and I made a little like photo collage wall. And I feel like, I don't know, for some reason, like when we're like about to go and I'm with all my friends, a lot of people like stand and hang right here and like look at the photos and it's just fun. This is my guest slash first bathroom that you walk into. This was my bathroom when um, I had a roommate. I honestly like this bathroom more than the other bathroom. I like it because I'm a shower girl. I'm not a bath girl. This is a shower all my stuff in it. I'm like, I don't know what else to say. It's like, it's literally just a shower. This is a fun wall. I love how there's built-in shelves and I have all these fun things with like makeup and products. I will say these drawers and um, shelves are a little empty at the moment because I am kind of packing, kind of getting rid of stuff, kind of doing some giveaway moment. This is my toilet. Towels up here. I have more of the Amazon bins for bikinis and I actually love this mirror. I feel like it is so bright and it's such a good mirror and there's like enough counter space. And then down here I have like random cleaning supplies. I have my travel like bag and just like other random storage and stuff like that. This print I love, it's from my Ron Rebellious collab and I think it's like fun and cheeky to have in the bathroom. I don't know, it makes it more like decorated and unique. Guys, I'm dying when you're LA's pickle princess. <laughs> Like, thanks Alani, thanks Peter Thomas Roth, thank you Smirnoff, thank you Vizzy, <laughs> thank you Anthropology, and thank you Tatcha. Okay, this is my multi-hyphenated room, that's what I call it, because it's like my Hannah Montana closet, it's my glam room, it's my Ulta. Come on in, I want to show you what it looks like. This is actually my favorite room probably in my apartment just because I'm in here all the forking time and it's like so girly it's so fun I've always wanted a room like this and I feel like I actually use the shit out of it which makes me happy this gorgeous little situation is from Ikea and it was pretty inexpensive and then I had my brother build it and it was the best investment I've ever done if you lack storage in your space please like trust me get this shit from Ikea it is the best in my new place I will probably get more of these because I needed it this amazing sofa is from her I think it's really chic for some reason I pictured like a pop of color in here and I wanted this room to be like colorful fun vibrant girly but also not hot pink everything I'm not really much of a pink girl y'all know so I think this like dark green shade is super chic I think I can use it in any home that I move into, which I love. And then I have probably like my most used area <laughs> ever is my little vanity, which this is my first ever vanity that I've ever had in my life. And I am obsessed with it. The mirror is from Glamcore. You can adjust it. And then this is from Ikea. It's basically just a desk from Ikea. So I'm in a vanity. I just bought the desk. And yeah, it has like amazing storage. I have like foundations in here blushes in here, lip products in here. Over here, I have a bunch of my sunglasses 
which this is literally just like a nail polish holder and I got it from Amazon. This is a gift from my friend Ollie, this like art piece. And this is just luggage that I literally can't fit into my closet anymore because my guys, my closet, there's like too much shit. I'll show you. This is embarrassing, but like whatever. Don't ask me what's in there. And then over here, I have this gorgeous mirror. I love things that are useful, but also basically art within itself. And so yeah, this is really cool. I don't take enough mirror picks here. I should probably do that. This I got from Ikea. I love it. I have like random stuff in here, like wedding gowns, equipment, crafts. All my crafts are down here. I had to make use of the space. So there's like a printer and like random storage things up here. Also, I didn't show you my vintage tennis rackets are up here one of them fell and i haven't put it back up i'm gonna take them down anyway and then over here is what i like to call my store also known as ulta and it's where my friends can usually go shopping or i like to have everything on display so that i know what i need to review or post about i honestly love this i got these shelves from i want to say wayfair and they're like a dupe for cb2 and the cb2 ones are so expensive like please i'm begging you just get the wayfair one i actually like that they're open like i like that it looks and feels like a store it's just fun to me and it's girly and i feel like it like matches the room aesthetic and vibe perfectly. Yeah, that is my hyphenated Hannah Montana room. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna miss this room so much and that's why I was like so, I need two bedrooms because I want to duplicate this Hannah Montana room. I wanna copy paste it to wherever I'm moving next. I'm gonna miss it, I love her so much. Okay guys, this is my second bathroom, which I guess is like the main bathroom. This is actually attached to a bedroom, which is attached to the glam room. This is where I do most of my like getting ready other than the vanity. It's a big mirror. I have my perfumes right here. I have a little skin fridge. This is like a bath and shower situation. Hair products. This thing from Ikea, worth every penny. I love it. I have like all my skincare, masks, organized chaos. Hair tools up here. There's a ton of like products and stuff down here. And yeah, it's just, it's literally just a bathroom. It's nothing special. Unfortunately, my sheets are in the dryer. So I will show you guys that in a sec, but I'm going to be in a different outfit. So that's why. Welcome to my bedroom. Come on in. This is where the magic happens. So I'm kidding. Isn't that crazy? They used to do that on ribs and they were being serious. I'm obviously joking. I wanted to show you my bedroom when it wasn't a pigsty. I'm not going to go into detail of where everything's from because I have a full-blown room tour. I will link it down below if you guys want to get the nitty gritty on like where everything's from because like I go in on that video. So my favorite thing about my room is that it's my sanctuary. I feel like my living room and my glam room and like that space is for work, for entertaining, for having my friends over, for dilly dallying, I don't know, whatever the fork. But this is like where I come to decompress. This is like one of those rooms that it's like, holy shit, like this is so forking me. Like the basketball hoop, the book stand, the like frames. I don't know if I'll ever have a juicier room, but yeah, I love the windows. I do have to fall asleep pretty much every night with a face mask, but like I'm one of those people that I can sleep through a lot. The light doesn't bother me that much, but like when I have friends sleep over, they're like, give me a face mask. Like I cannot go to bed just because it's so bright because of the city. All right, guys, thanks for coming to the juice box tour. This is crazy. This is like the final farewell tour. I just have to say, thank you to everyone. I'm doing the cheesy influencer, but like it's, this is dead ass. Like, thank you for following me, tuning in, liking, commenting, even being a silent follower or just being in my DMs. I forking love you. And I'm so excited for the next chapter of my life and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the moving vlogs because they are motherfucking coming. And I'm so excited to bring you guys along and um, I'm nervous for this next chapter. I'm like so sad to leave the juice box, but we just have to find something juicier, I guess. See ya.